Hello, and welcome back to our last segment of Citizens Forum, where we wrap up. Jack and I are going to do the Jack and Will show, or the Will and Jack show, however you like that. And we just want to talk. What do you want to talk about, Jack? Well, Will, I want you to tell me about 5G, the, okay. health, the health impacts. Well, the, thing, the interesting thing about 5G and the health impacts is there really isn't much study that's been done. It's being deployed without a lot of study, which is basically we, with the regular, the 2.4 gigahertz, uh, the first deployment of uh, Wi-Fi and cell phones, all these things, it was done with just a study on raising the temperature, you know, body temperature, and that turned out to be not really the mode at all that Wi-Fi damages, where all these different uh, technologies damage you. It actually resonates things inside the cell, the DNA, and splits. And now we have a new technology of 5G, which has frequencies which haven't really been widely used before, and they're being deployed with no testing on humans or any other life, and it's supposedly going to cover the planet with uh, new frequencies. So I have no idea. Sounds good to me. Now, when you say deployed, Basically, they're putting a transmitter on every block. All over the place. Yeah. Well, why does that it, sound good to you? I think it doesn't no, think I'm doesn't. Oh, you're joking. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still having trouble with yeah. Canadian humor. Okay. So, so anyway, the whole thing is, is that we have no choice in this. We have no say in it. And some of the people who are installing it won't even tell you the truth if you ask them about what what, what is actually doing. being what they're doing. It's they don't tell you that it's a new transmitter in your neighborhood. So I don't. I personally have a hard time with that. I don't understand why that is being done to us without any formal studies or drive-by studies. Is, yeah, it'll be okay. Yeah. You know, that's exactly the question. How, how and why is this being done to us? We have no say in it. They don't tell us about it. It's just somewhere our rulership decides that, hey, we like 5G. It's good for us. And we're going to put essentially a transmitter on every block to, uh, to supplant uh, our smart meters, which we already have in every home. And it's like they don't care. Now, if this stuff is safe, then I've got no problem with it. But it's definitely not safe. There are definite health impacts, and they don't care. I feel like a lab rat. I mean, I'm going to be validating what, to see if it's OK. Now, at my age, it doesn't matter so much. But for young people, I, I just don't get it. I don't, I don't understand why. There, nothing is being said. Are there other countries that are tamping it down or not allowing it, or is it everywhere? I haven't, I haven't yeah. uh, read anything about that. I've just read, basically, that there hasn't been any testing done yet, yeah. and that's... The other thing we're going to talk about very briefly is cannabis and how I think we both agree that what the federal government has done, and you said it, was yeah, there's been a hostile takeover of a cottage industry. And, yeah. you know, so and they've corporatized it. Right, Everything so is now going to be big business. So Why? right now you can't, I don't know, I, it, it seems to me to be more difficult to get legal cannabis now. There, it used to be that there were dispensaries all over, and now there aren't any. So I don't know. I mean, it's another thing I'm and waiting small, to see. the small guys who, I mean, what I want is a safe supply, one that if they say organic, it's organic and stuff like that. And, and it's being well made so that everybody is protected. I don't trust the corporations to do that. Yeah. I, what I trust is a strong regulator and that's what we need. Well, we're out of time, but thanks. I, it was a great show. I really appreciated hearing yeah. about everything. So thank you for joining us in this last segment of Citizens Forum. Be sure to check back with us in two weeks.